there, welcome to the Edukaze channel. In this video, we are going to talk about Particle Swarm Optimization, or PSO. Particle Swarm Optimization, or PSO, is an intelligent optimization algorithm belonging to the meta-heuristic class of optimization algorithms. Inspired by social behavior of animals like fish and birds, this is based on the concept of swarm intelligence, a phenomenon that we can learn from to create innovative solutions. PSO is a simple yet powerful optimization algorithm, and it is successfully applied to enormous applications in various fields of science and engineering, like machine learning, image processing, data mining, operational research, and many, many other fields. Initially, the PSO was introduced by James Kennedy and Russell C. Eberhardt in 1995. Originally, they were working to develop a model to describe the social behavior of animals, like flock of birds and fish, whether they realize that their model is capable of doing optimization tasks. So they proposed a new optimizer based on their model called Particle Swarm Optimization, and image of their paper is shown here is entitled, A New Optimizer Using Particle Swarm Theory in the Last 27 Years. PSO became one of most useful and most popular algorithms to solve various optimization problems in various fields. One of the key points behind the PSO is its simplicity. PSO is a very, very simple algorithm. However, it is a powerful algorithm too. Now just start with a simple example to show how PSO works. Let's assume a slice of the lake where one-dimensional fictional lake. This is the shape of the lake. And this is the surface of the water. Assume Alice and Bob are two friends and they are looking for the deepest location in this lake. They would like to cooperate to solve this problem. Obviously, this is a search problem and can be stated as an optimization problem too. Alice and Bob have two boats and measurement tools to measure the depths of the lake at every location. The first the boat of Alice stays here. And the boat of Bob stays here. They both measure the depths. And they inform the measure of their depths to each other. In the situation that the depths measured by Alice is greater. So Bob moves a step towards Alice and updates his location and makes another measurement. This measurement is deeper than the last measurement made by Alice. So Alice moves two towards Bob and she also makes and other measurements. But in this situation, Bob still is on a deeper location. So Alice moves in other respect and makes another measurement and other movement and other measurements to reach this location. And this is the global minimum of this problem. Global minimum of this problem is obviously here. But Alice Bob don't know the answer. They should cooperate to find this answer. Alice is now in the global minimum, but Bob continues to move towards Alice and movements of Bob are shown here, and either movement. And finally, Alice and Bob meet each other in this location. So they find the answer for this optimization problem. So it's very similar to this search mechanism that Alice and Bob used. In this structure of this cooperation, two principles are used. These two principles are communication, which is informing the measure to the other party, plus learning. When Alice moves towards Bob, or Bob moves towards Alice, they actually learn that location of the other party is better. Learning the concept of better is the main problem that an optimizer should solve. 
When an optimizer learns the concept of better, it is able to solve any kind of optimization problem because the solution of optimization problem is to find the best one. So if we know what is the better, we actually can discover the concept of best. In the simple story, the cooperation of Alice and Bob to find the global minimum is simply discussed about the basic rules behind the swarm intelligence. Alice and Bob don't know about the global minimum of the problem. However, by the cooperation, they are able to find the answer, and the swarm intelligence is very similar to this. In swarm intelligence, an intelligence behavior is created by means of some agents, like birds, like ants, like fish. And this level of intelligence is absolutely unreachable for any member of this swarm. But with cooperation among the members of swarm, among the members of colony, this level of intelligence can be reached. And this is the concept, the paradigm of swarm intelligence. Here so is a swarm intelligence, and it uses some intelligent agents or particles to reach another level of intelligence, which is absolutely unreachable for any of particles in this swarm. Okay, now you have to understand the basic concept of particle swarm optimization or PSO. Thank you for watching this video and goodbye.